ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. For Tim Dillon, the hard-working treasurer of the Trenton County Irrigation Committee, it had been one of the most satisfying days of his life. It's a pleasure, Timothy, a genuine pleasure to see a colleague so happy. Oh, I couldn't help being happy today, Mr. Ludlow. How so? Just look at all the money I've collected today for the Trenton County Irrigation Fund. More than enough to put us over the top. And then we can get started with the project at once. That is good news, isn't it, Charlie? It certainly is, Dad. And knowing the interest that you've taken this fund, uh, I suppose this is in the nature of a personal triumph. Oh, it's not so much a personal triumph, Mr. Ludlow. It's a triumph for all those people that donated their savings to make the project possible. With proper irrigation, Tranton County's dry soil would be turned into a rich, fruitful paradise. Of course, of course. And you can be sure the people of this county appreciate the way you and your son stepped in and organized that committee. Uh, took charge, so to speak. We're always delighted to serve the public. Uh, hadn't you better put this in the safe for the rest of the fund? Yeah, it's about time to close the office anyway. There's as much money now in the irrigation fund as it's ever going to be. What are we waiting for? I suppose your plan is to hit Timothy over the head and make off with the money. Well, what's the matter with it? Oh, it's an excellent plan. Well, then? Except that the sheriff would have a warrant out for us within the hour. You mean we're not going to steal the irrigation fund? All in good time, my boy. You talk like we had all year. Tomorrow morning, the money will be taken out of the safe and turned over to the irrigation committee. Oh, no, it won't. Supposing our friend Timothy were to vanish into thin air this very afternoon. And suppose the money disappeared at the same time. What conclusion do you think our esteemed sheriff would jump to? He'd think Tim had embezzled the money. Precisely. Oh, Timothy, Ben from the livery stable just dropped by. He asked me to tell you that your horse has an ailing foreleg and shouldn't be ridden for a while. Golly, that means I won't be able to get home tonight. Charlie and I'll be glad to give you a lift in the buckboard. Thank you, just the same, but I wouldn't want to take you that far out of your way. I'll just stay at the hotel tonight. Nonsense. Your daughter would worry if you didn't appear. Oh, Madeline's used to me staying in town overnight when I have to work late. She'll not worry. We insist on driving you home, don't we, Charles? Sure. Then in the morning, you can ride Madeline's horse to work. Well, all right, if you don't think it'll be too much trouble. No trouble, Timothy. No trouble at all. The buckboard's out back. As the buckboard rolled out into open country, two riders headed in the opposite direction reined in their mounts. It's been a long day, Tyler. We'd better make camp soon. Satan's gorge ahead, Kimisami. Will you stay there tonight? It's as good a place as any. Satan's Gorge, a solid wall of rock on either side, was so called because its impenetrable depth seemed to reach down into the domain of Satan himself. Halfway across the rim of the gorge, Martin Ludlow brought the buckboard to a sudden halt. Anything wrong? Yeah, looks like that left front wheel is coming loose again. Hey, Tim, take a look. I can't see anything. That... Okay, Hit the shots, Kimisami. Let's go. Well, that's that. Not quite. What do you mean? He dropped his watch while we struggled. Well, what are you going to do with it? Get rid of it, of course. What do you think? Now, let's get out of here fast before somebody decides to investigate that shot. Someone had decided to investigate the shot. The Lone Ranger and his companion raced their mounts to the scene. But the rim of Satan's Gorge was deserted by the time they arrived. No one here, Kimisari. Yet I'm certain that shot came from this direction. Look, Kimisari. Buckboard come in this way, stop, turn around, go back that way. There's signs of a scuffle. A man dragged over ground over that way. To the rim of Satan's Gorge. It looks like murder, Tonto. We follow trail of buckboard, Kimisami? We'll do the best we can. We haven't much time before darkness sets in. It's no use, Tonto. There's so many wheel marks here, it's impossible to tell one set from another. What we do, Kimisami? 
We'll camp by the rim of the gorge. As soon as it's light, we'll comb the area for further evidence. The Lone Ranger and Tonto arose at daybreak to pursue the investigation. But it was mid-morning before their careful scrutiny was rewarded. Tonto. Yes, Kimasabi? I've spotted something. But in order to recover it, I'll have to be lowered into the gorge. To bottom of gorge? Oh, that's impossible. But I think I may be able to reach that ledge. There's some sort of object down there that glitters in the sun. Whatever it is, it must have been dropped recently. Ah, otherwise, it's not shine so bright. You're not sure we have enough rope, Kimasabi? We'll have to chance it, Tonto. We can't afford to overlook the slightest clue. Ah, uh, me get rope. All ready, Kimasabi. Kimasabi. All right, all the way, Tonto. You find something, Kimasabi? Yes, a watch and chain. From the looks of it, it hasn't been down there long. You think it belonged to man who was killed? That's possible. Maybe it had name on it. Yes, there's an inscription. To Timothy Dillon from the citizens of Trenton County, in appreciation of... You hear something? Someone come this way, Kimasabi. Let's hide behind that boulder. It'll save answering questions about my mask. Huh. like this. Someone camped here last night. Uh, what of it? This is a favorite place with people passing through this part of the country. Come on, let's go ahead. The sooner we get things settled with this Dillon girl, the better I'll feel. Come on. It's odd that the man should be so concerned about someone camping here last night. Uh, them dry buckboard too, can tell me. You mentioned a girl named Dillon. This watch belonged to a man named Timothy Dillon. We follow them? Yes. Madeline Dillon had grown accustomed to her father's habit of spending the night in town on occasions when he worked late, and ordinarily she didn't worry. But this time it was somehow different. She sensed that something had gone wrong. Good morning, Madeline. Uh, is your father at home? No, he didn't come in all night. I, I presumed that he stayed in the hotel in town. Uh, uh, we already checked there. Well, where can he be? Uh, maybe he decided to take a trip someplace. His horse is still in the livery stable, but he may have boarded a stage. No, Dad would never leave town without letting me know. Well, something to happen to him. I knew it. I, I just knew it. You knew it, Madeline? You mean that your father's been acting peculiarly of late? Oh, no, of course not. It's, it's just a feeling that I've had that some sort of an accident's happened to Dad. Why did you ask if he's been acting peculiarly? Well... Uh, Go on. Well, it's just that... Uh, the irrigation fund is missing from the safe. It seems kind of funny that your father disappeared at the same time. Oh, Charles. Oh, but surely you don't mean... Of course not, child. Why, I'd trust Timothy Dillon with my life. I'm sure as soon as he shows up that everything will be explained to the sheriff's satisfaction. The sheriff? Oh, it'll have to be reported, of course. A considerable amount of money is involved. I see. Well, I'd better be getting back to town. Or would you like Charlie to stay here and keep you company? No, thank you. I, I'd rather be alone. I just want you to know, Madeline, it won't make no difference the way I feel about you, even if your father is an embezzler. An embezzler? Oh, no. Miss Dillon? How did you get in here? We came in through the back door. We overheard everything that was said. Now, you not be afraid. Him your friend. A friend? A masked outlaw? 
This mask works on behalf of the innocent, and I have reason to believe that your father did not commit any crime. Have you ever seen this before? It's my father's watch. Where did you get it? Prepare yourself for a shock, Miss Dillon. Go on. We recovered it this morning from Satan's Gorge. Satan's Gorge? I was right. Dad did have an accident. It was no accident, Miss Dillon. Kimasabe think your father murdered. Murdered? But why? I have reason to believe that your father was killed to cover the tracks of whoever really embezzled the irrigation fund. But who would do such a thing? Who else besides your father had access to the safe where the money was kept? Well, only the two who are here, Mr. Ludlow and his son, Charlie. They were helping Dad with the irrigation committee. Do you think that they stole the money and tried to direct suspicion on Dad? I have no proof, but I may be able to obtain it if you will trust me and do as I say. Why should I trust you? I don't even know who you are or why you're making this your concern. Justice is the concern of every good citizen. I have only your word that you're a good citizen. Miss Dillon, if you don't trust me, the funds may never be recovered. And unless the irrigation program is carried out, this area cannot possibly live up to its early promise. Well, you sound just like my father. Water is essential to the growth and development of Trenton County. What do you want me to do? If our suspicions about the Ludlows are correct, I have a plan which may frighten them into revealing where they've hidden the money. Now, this afternoon, I want you to go down to the headquarters of the Irrigation Committee, and then... Hello, Charlie. Howdy, Madeline. What brings you into town? I'd like to speak with your father a moment. Sure. Come on in. Hello, Mr. Ludlow. I hope you'll feel free to call on me at any time, child. Thank you. No matter what the rest of the town believes, I'm convinced of your father's innocence. I suppose everyone thinks that he embezzled the fund. Yeah, well, that's the sheriff's doing. Just because your father and the money were missed at the same time the theft occurred, he has assumed that there must be a connection. I've tried to argue with him, but he just won't listen to reason. I know, he's a stubborn-minded man. That's why I haven't gone to him with what I discovered in Dad's desk. With what you discovered in your father's desk? Yes, these numbers he had written down. I copied them from his notebook. Perhaps they don't mean anything. I know so little about business matters. 96, 40, 94, F, T, 35, 91, 8, 22, A. <laughs> they just seem like a meaningless jumble of numbers, as far as I can see. Well, do you think that they could be the serial numbers of paper money? Why, yes. Yes, that's exactly what they seem to be. But, uh... I don't understand why you attach so much importance to them. It occurred to me that perhaps he kept a record of the serial numbers in all the greenbacks he collected for the irrigation fund. Why would he have gone to such trouble? You know how conscientious he was. It would have been just like him to have kept such a record in case the fund was stolen. And now if you'll tell me how to proceed, perhaps we'll be able to locate the real thieves. Proceed? Oh, well, I, I don't quite understand. Well, as I said, I don't know much about business matters, but... It seems to me I heard Dad mention something about a, a territorial banking commission or something like that. Well, there is such an organization. Well, couldn't we send this list of serial numbers to the commission? Then the banks all over the country would be warned to be on the lookout for the stolen money. I... I see what you mean. In that way, we might be able to locate the real thieves. Oh, really, Mr. Ludlow? I don't know how to thank you for straightening me out on all these confusing financial details. Oh, no, no trouble, child. No trouble at all. If you like, I'll uh, draft a letter to the Banking Commission for you. You never seem to tire of doing favors for other people. Of course, we can't be absolutely certain that this list of serial numbers refers to the stolen bills from the irrigation fund. No, but the only way to make sure would be to check the numbers on the list against the numbers on the bills. We can't very well do that because we don't know where the stolen money is. No, but I'm sure that the Banking Commission will cooperate. Well, thank you very much for your help, Mr. Ludlow. It's my pleasure. Goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye, Madeline. Want a match? Now, what good would it do to burn these papers? The girl still has the original list. And we better spend that money as fast as we can before the serial numbers are circulated at the banks. And attract suspicion by our sudden affluence? Never fails to amaze me, child, your capacity for foolhardiness. 
Well, then what's your idea? Did you hide the money where I told you? I buried it just opposite the second upright post. If you're thinking of digging it up, there's a lantern and a shovel just inside the entrance. Good. We'll close up now, and I'll ride out to the mine and check this list against the number on the stolen bill. And me? You, Charles, will pay a visit to Madeline Delvin. Now, that's the kind of job I like. Look, you're going out there not to admire her beauty, but to get possession of her father's notebook. Did the Ludlows rise to the bait? They seem to. What we do now, Kim Sunny? At closing time, you and I will be waiting on top of that hill overlooking town so we can see which direction they take. Do you really think they'll lead you to the stolen money? That's my idea. Suppose they separate. Then we'll separate. Seem to have taken everything into account. Uh, good luck. After closing committee headquarters for the day, the Ludlows rode out of town together. At the rim of Satan's Gorge, they parted to go their separate ways. Split up, Tonto. Young fellow, he go toward girl's house. You follow him. I'll trail his father. You capture him, Kimisani? No, I just want to find out where the stolen money is hidden. We'll let the sheriff draw his own conclusions after he hears all the evidence. Howdy, Madeline. Why, Charlie, is your father here? No, uh, he had some business to take care of. Uh, there's an important matter I want to talk to you about, Madeline. Well, go ahead. Well, I, I've been kind of worried about you lately. About me? Why? Well, you're being all alone in this big house. And nobody to protect you in case robbers break in. Oh, sweet of you to be so considerate. I'd feel a lot easier in my mind if you let me take care of your valuables. You know, like important papers and things like that. You're just like your father, always doing favors for people. Oh, but you're not people, Madeline. You know how I feel about you. Please, Charlie. Look, Madeline, I've been crazy about you for a long time. Oh, you're unspeakable. But I love you. I want to marry you. Marry you? After you murdered my father, you dare to try... What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing. You said I murdered your father. Your father's watch. How'd you get this? I said, how'd you get this? Don't move. Oh, I'm sorry. I spoiled everything. I, I lost my temper. Who are you, Indian? You save talk for Sharon. You have rope? Yes, I'll get some. Don't move, Indian. Drop that gun. Drop it! Another knife, too. You get that rope you was going after. Having satisfied himself that the serial numbers on the stolen money did not correspond to the numbers on Madeline's list, Martin Ludlow hastened to rejoin his son at the Dillon home. Hey, what's going on here? The Indian must have been trailing me. He jumped me right after the girl showed me the watch. Watch? Timothy Dillon's watch. Yeah, they must know plenty. But I thought I'd better talk to you before I got rid of her. Do you think that killing them would be an end to our troubles? Sure, why not? What's the matter? Don't you realize that if somebody followed you, they must have had somebody following me, too? I never thought of that. And whoever it is now knows where the irrigation fund money is hidden. That list the girl gave me was a trick. Yeah. Somebody out there in that clump of trees. Whoever it is must have sent something went wrong. They're moving awfully cautiously. Look, we go out the back way and circle behind them. He must not get away. I don't 
can't see him. Get up on that rock over there. Maybe you can see him coming. He'll spot me from there. No, he won't. The bush will hide you. Hold it, mister. Don't move. You're covered. With the Ludlows in jail and the fund recovered, Tim Dillon's name had been cleared. Dad would be so happy if he knew that work was already started on the irrigation project. He does know, Madeline. Wherever he is, he knows. Helps a lot to think of it that way. If he were here now, he'd be thanking you on behalf of all the people of Trenton County. You've given them back their faith in the future. I really do. There he goes, Dad. The Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello!